As investigators try to piece together exactly what happened last week, a left-wing social justice activist allegedly posing as a journalist was just arrested by the FBI in Utah. The FBI affidavit says he's on video egging on protesters at the Capitol. He said things like, we're about to burn this down and we ain't waiting until the next election. An Arkansas man also among several others arrested today accused of beating a police officer with a flagpole. Hello and welcome to Fox News at night. I'm Shana Bream in Washington. We begin tonight with White House correspondent Kevin Cork on the scene in D.C. And he's telling us the latest about this buildup. Hey, Kevin. Evening, Shannon. Even as the number of National Guard personnel continues to grow here in the nation's capital, uh, questions remain about the origin of the threat assessment that's led to this massive buildup here. Uh, we're talking about troop levels greater than those currently serving in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. By the thousands, they've come to Washington in armed and armored preparation for possible demonstrations this weekend hoping to avoid a repeat of the deadly violence that struck the Capitol last week as the nation now prepares to inaugurate a new president. On hand, some 21,000 National Guardsmen to help secure the city. Anybody who plots or attempts violence in the coming week should count on a visit. Together with our partners here in the district and across the country, we're going to be doing everything we can to ensure a smooth transition of power in the days to come. But officials who were sharply criticized for being unprepared last week at the Capitol say they aren't taking any chances, particularly considering a day before rioters stormed Congress, an FBI office in Virginia issued an explicit warning that extremists were preparing to travel to Washington to commit violence and war. Indeed, numerous FBI memos appear to have set the tone for the massive buildup, including one this week warning of armed protest in all 50 state capitals and another from December citing collaborative sources suggesting members of the Boogaloo movement could host potentially violent events on January 17th. Those memos were later capstoned by a three-agency bulletin claiming that violent extremist activity will likely surge and pose the greatest domestic terrorism threat in 2021. And yet there's still evidence of some disagreement over the actual threat level, even within the federal government. The Interior Department, the umbrella agency that includes the National Park Service and manages spaces like the mall in Washington, has elected to not shut down the area for Inauguration Day, at least not yet. The American people can be confident that our administration will continue to work every day between now uh, and January 20th to ensure an orderly transition, to ensure a safe inauguration for our president-elect, for our vice president-elect, uh, and for all of the American people. They deserve nothing less. Indeed, they deserve nothing less. By the way, tonight we've learned that the Biden team actually had a rehearsal scheduled for Sunday here in the nation's capital. Uh, that rehearsal has uh, been uh, postponed due to security threats. So again, that underscores what's happening here in our city tonight. 